Okay, uh, Kira, no, wait. Oh, shoot, I went out of order. All right, Kira, I picked you up earlier. Uh, uh, in Canada? Yep. Newfoundland? Yeah, Newfoundland. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you doing? How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Um, I just discovered uh, your show on YouTube today. Mm -hmm. um, and I've been enjoying watching it. Oh, uh, thanks. All day <laughs> well, welcome to the show. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, uh, I've, uh, I, was, I was curious. I wanted to know your guys' opinion. Uh, the, the, there's an openly secular campaign by the, uh, I think it's the Secular Coalition of America. Yeah. And That's they're encouraging familiar. people uh, to, quote unquote, come out of the closet as secular or atheist, and um, I was wondering uh, how important you guys think it is to come out to your friends and family, and not, not that it's the same as coming out as homosexual, obviously, but uh, in a word, to come out and say, and tell them that uh, what you believe, or, yeah, that's my question. <laughs> You want to start with this one? Sure. Um, I think it depends a lot on, on your personal circumstances. I think some of us are more comfortable than others kind of being out there. And I would never, <coughs> I would never fault anybody for uh, staying in the closet maybe to protect their job or to, um, to not offend their family, you know, especially if the consequences are being disowned or if maybe you're under 18, your, your whole support system might disappear. You could get thrown out. So. Um, I wouldn't advise anybody, anybody to come out if they think there's any danger or risk in doing so. On the other hand, I think the more people who are comfortable uh, coming out and talking about their unbelief um, makes it more, uh, more mainstream and people see that there's a lot of non-believers out there uh, and it's people that I know and like and respect and, uh, and I think it just it helps with the, the counteract the image that atheists are evil and horrible people and want to destroy the world and you know those sorts of stereotypes that we run into sometimes so yeah um, I agree with John uh, there are lots of perfectly good reasons good personal reasons to stay in the closet and uh, you know unlike Christians we don't think uh, there's any requirement to be a martyr for your not believing in God um, so, uh, I would never presume to judge other people's situation and tell them that they have, have an obligation to come out uh, and speak for atheism. Uh, but at the same time, when people do come out of the closet and do uh, openly identify themselves as atheists to people, um, it benefits everyone. It makes other atheists know that they're not alone. Um, and it, uh, it allows, it normalizes atheism, it, uh, it demonstrates to Christians that atheists are just people, not the scary people that their preacher is telling them about. A lot, a lot of people probably know closeted atheists without realizing it. Uh, and so I would encourage people to come out of the closet if they can, uh, but I wouldn't uh, require it. Hmm, okay. Yeah, that's, that's kind of where I was coming from, too, because I was like, I don't really mind telling my friends and, and, and everything because they know that, you know, I don't care what they believe in and they don't care what I believe in. But, you know, with family and work and things like that, it's like a little more complicated there. Yeah, uh, I've known a number of people who are atheists that came out to their family, and I know definitely it's not always a comfortable experience, and sometimes it can cause a rift in, in a family temporarily or long term. Uh, so I would do my best to judge the situation, and also if you think that it might get you in trouble at work, definitely keep it out of work, it's nobody's business. Mm -hmm. No, for sure. Um, and I mean, like, even, uh, you know, a famous atheist, uh, Penn Gillette, who's very vocal about uh, this issue on TV, he didn't really uh, start to go on TV and talk about these things until after his parents died because he didn't want to upset his mother because he was very close with his mother. 
Yeah. Hmm. I didn't realize um, that. Uh, I don't think my parents would personally care, but I think my right. grandparents might, and I might only have them for a couple more years, so I figured it wasn't really that important. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. I agree. Uh, yeah. Well, thanks for calling. All right. Thanks for having me on the show, guys. All right. Yeah. Uh, enjoy the rest of the episodes. <laughs> I know you're still going through. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Thanks, Kira.